Here's a sample of what you get when you sign up for the technique plan under the tournament table tennis. What you'll see is that the high rated player is 1804, the lower rated player is 1377. Take a look at this slow-mo, you'll see that the legs aren't bent enough and that's why the ball goes into net because it's not enough thrust from the legs. Next play, same thing, legs not bent, not enough thrust from the legs. And the finishing point is the body is too upright. Good exchange with a higher rated player making the unforced error. You see the same thing when you look at the sequence replay is that the arm is no snap and that's why the ball didn't come down. Legs not been enough. Notice finishing with the body too upright. That energy should be, energy should be going forward. No arm snap, no friction, as well as the legs not being bent enough and not putting in enough thrust on the ball. That's why you see the ball goes directly into the bottom of the net. This is great ball placement, catching a top rated player out of position. This was a missed attack opportunity. He played two shots right to the top player's forehand, the second one resulting in a smash that actually hit him. This one's good ball placement outside the range of the top player's attack. And this is a missed attack opportunity that is a deep return. And the player, the opponent already has his racket prepared to push, missing that shot. One a point with a good serve. Doubles up and wins another point off the serve. Now he's down two points. As you can see in this point, the track player makes an attack outside the opponent's range. Looking at this slow-mo sequence, you see when the ball hits the table, it's outside the range of the opponent. Good ball placement again. And you look at where it's going, right to the middle. And now the score is 7 all from being down 6-1. Now if you look at this, his footwork is too late, not in a proper position. And that results in the ball going directly into the bottom of the net. When you make two errors inside of one skill set, you're going to miss that point for sure. This one is great ball placement outside the range. If you look at the opponent, they're in the neutral position, catching them straight down the line. This tack had no snap. You saw the ball didn't travel in an arc, and he's forcing that ball. He's trying to win the point. It's easier to just play the ball safe. From down 6-1, he plays safe to get back to 7-7. Good underspin push with the opponent smashing the ball in the net. And now the score is 9 all. Good serve. 
attack right outside the range again. Good ball placement. If you look at the, the opponent, he's in the neutral position. He's not even not able to even make uh, a attempt at the shot. See here, you'll see no thrust from the legs. You just see all arm, but the legs didn't push up at all. And that's why that ball nicked the net. And the score is deuce. First time, the opponent attacked using the backhand, getting the game point. Make an attack, exchanges, high rated player, misses a kill shot. Now if you look at this, the opponent is top rated players 1800, low rated players 1377. The rating difference is 427 points. When you're using your technique, there's a good chance you can dominate your opponent. When you sign up for the technique plan, the following training analytics will be analyzed so that you know exactly how you missed in the match looking at your technique. And that'll be stroke production, body position, body movement, footwork, stroke timing, and total table awareness. Now, in addition, you'll also receive a professionally edited video just like this. You'll also receive handcrafted training videos. And there's also email and Skype communication if you want to consult on your video if you need to have a better understanding of exactly what you want to do or the mistakes that you made. Lastly, there's monthly plans that have a price and there's yearly plans that have a discounted price. So take your time to sign up for the technique plan and start improving today.